Hello dear students. In this session we are going to solve a numerical on strain energy. In this question the maximum instantaneous extension produced by an unknown falling weight through a height of 4 cm in a vertical bar of length 3 m and of cross section area 5 cm square is given as 2.1 mm. You have to determine the instantaneous stress induced in the vertical bar and the value of unknown weight e is also given to us. So uh, basically the deflection, instantaneous deflection or extension is given to us that is 2.1 millimeter and the length of the vertical bar is given to us 3 uh, meters, area is given 5 centimeters here. And the weight and the height through which the weight falls is also given that is 4 cm. We have to find out the instantaneous stress induced in the vertical bar and the value of unknown weight. How much is the quantity of weight which is fallen from the height of 4 cm that we have to also find out e is also given to us. So let us solve this problem. This question is a question of impact loading where there is a weight that falls through a height of 4 cm on a collar and after falling this weight uh, there is some deformation elongation in the bar that is 2.1 mm this is given to us the cross section area of the bar is given for 5 cm square and length of the total length of the bar is 3 meters the modulus of velocity is 2 into 10 power 5 we have to find out the instantaneous stress developed in the material and the weight this weight that falls on the body collar that weight we have to find out so this is the question. So this is the question of impact loading. So by basics, by basics from the first chapter, we know that delta L change in elongation. The, the elongation in the bar is given by sigma L upon E. This must be known to us. You should remember this. This is important formula. Sigma L upon E. So this is the deformation in the bar where sigma is the instantaneous stress. Delta L is given to us. L is given. E is given. Sigma can be found out. Sigma will be equal to delta L E upon L. So that will be equal to delta L. What is delta L? Change in length. Take it in millimeter. 2.1 millimeter. E. Take in Newton per millimeter scale. That is given to us. 2 into 10 power 5. Length. Length is given to us. That is 3 meter. So millimeter it is 3000. So from here we can find out sigma in Newton per millimeter square or mega Pascal. So this solve it and you will get the answer. The stress developed in the material is 140. 140 Newton per millimeter square which is also called 140 mega Pascal. Right. So this is the instantaneous stress developed in the material and this is one of the answer. Right. Now second answer. In second answer what we have to find out is unknown weight. What is this unknown weight? P. This we have to find out. So how to find out this P? We can use the strain energy concept that the when the weight falls on this there is work done by the uh, this weight which is equal to H plus delta L the height through which it falls H plus delta L and the work done by the body by um, this weight will be stored in the bar in terms of strain energy. So work done by weight will store in terms of strain energy stored in the bar right so what is work done that is equal to load multiplied by height through which it falls so h plus delta l this is the height through which it falls delta h may be small but we are using it that is equal to strain energy stored that is equal to sigma square upon 2e multiplied by the volume of the bar total volume of the bar so from here we can find out the weight unknown weight that is equal to sigma square v upon 2e h plus delta l so this will come out to be sigma square sigma square sigma stress we have found out 140 so this is 140 square we are taking in newton per millimeter square volume can be taken in millimeter cube also volume volume is area area into length is the volume right volume will be equal to it is equal to area into length so area is 5 centimeter square in millimeter this is 10 power 2 multiplied by length is 3 3 meters so 3 3 is our millimeter so it is this much millimeter cube divided by 2 multiplied by e e e is given to us 2 into 10 power 5 multiplied by h plus delta l 
H is given to us that is 4 cm means 40 mm plus delta L. Delta L is given to us that is 2.1. 2.1. So from here we can find out the weight, weight that falls on the collar, right? So what is weight? Solve it and you will get the weight. So that will come out to be 1746. 1746 Newtons. So this is the weight. This is the weight of this body which falls on the collar, right? So this is how we can find out using the strain energy concept, we can find out the load that falls on the body and also the deflection formula, we can find out the stress, the instantaneous stress developed in the material.